Hey, what's up? It's Tommy the Hacker with Kiss FM. I am standing out in front of the York Tire building. Now, that building was made in the 1920s, and it's said to be one of the scariest places here in Amarillo, Texas. Who would want to be here? Who would even want to stay the night there? I wouldn't. Wait, we are. Coming up October 25th, it's a Thursday night. Here's the challenge. It is called the Hackers Haunted Broadcast. And what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be broadcasting live from inside that building, starting at seven o'clock, and we're gonna be there all night long. We're gonna find out, is there really some spirits in that building? Is this really the scariest place here in Amarillo, Texas? So, coming up October 25th, Get ready for the Hackers Haunted broadcast from the York Tire Building. Be listening on details on how you can win and get qualified to stay the night with us. We'll have a paranormal team here. We will have a pastor here. And uh, yeah, we'll find out if there's real ghosts here at the York Tire Building for the Hackers Haunted broadcast. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're inside the building now. We're here on the uh, the main level. Here with uh, Monty. He's the uh, manager here. Now, uh, can you explain a little bit uh, of what you've seen here inside your tire? Oh, I've seen uh, full body apparitions. I've seen people walk towards the break room like they were counting their change. And I wouldn't hear a coat fall out of the machine. I'd go in there and look and nobody was in there. Uh, I've seen assorted people walk out of the bathroom and nobody was in there. Um, I've seen... Uh, Oh, we've had people that would walk in the front door that weren't really there. I've had papers move while I was sitting here working. Um, some of the other people have seen, uh, well, one man was locked in the, uh, the crow's nest, which is the power for the elevator, and the door won't close by itself, and it was closed, and he was locked in. Um, a lot of people have seen a lot of things, and uh, the owner used to think we were crazy. And we were, a bunch of guys were standing up here one day and the phone rang and he asked who answered the phone and everybody said, nobody. He said, no, I just saw somebody pick up the phone and use it. And he said, you're going to think I'm crazy. We said, no, you just saw one. And it kind of, kind of shook him because they'd been in here so many years and he hadn't seen anything. He thought it was all a joke. It's not. All right, uh, here we are in the stairway. Um, we have a basement downstairs. Also the uh, boiler room, which is uh, downstairs. And uh, he said we have three levels. Apparently up on the uh, third level is where uh, the elevator repair man was on and fell down and uh, badly injured himself. So uh, let's head on up to the, uh, the third floor. That is a long way down. Look at the lights. All right, we're uh, here on the third level of the uh, York Tire Building. As you see, it's uh, nothing but uh, tires on this level here. But uh, they have said that this level has picked up most of the activity and matter of fact I believe this might be the elevator where years ago the uh, ele elevator repair service man fell down and uh, was badly injured. I thought he had died but uh, apparently he was just uh, injured, paralyzed. And when I walked up onto this uh, level here I definitely noticed the uh, the temperature changed. Very, very cold to the point where, like, you could almost see my breath. So, uh, let's just walk around. Now, as we walk uh, on this level here, you know.
know, a lot of the employees said that a lot of activity has happened on this floor here. So uh, if there are any spirits here, we are not here to harm you. We are here just to take a little bit of video. I don't know, I got chills. Did you get chills? Dude, it's definitely cold up here. The temperature has for sure changed um, since we were down on the uh, the bottom floor. It's 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 like even right warmer. Here, it's feel, warmer upstairs too. I feel a very cold spot. Yeah, when we were up on the attic, it, it was warm, but uh, this is very very chilly. I got goosebumps. <laughs> Okay, we are now on the uh, second floor of York Tire. Um, it's known to have a lot of activity on this floor also, but if you notice that the temperature from the second floor and the third floor, it's quite warm now than uh, what it was upstairs. Okay, here we are on the uh, second floor of uh, your tire. I got Frank here explain who you are and what you guys are about and what you guys do. My name is Frank McCoy. I'm one of the founders of Polidura Area Paranormal Society. Um, well, we're, we're a uh, scientific based paranormal group that tries to find evidence of pretty much the paranormal. I mean, ghosts, spirits, uh, either being good, bad, demonic, whatever. Uh, we've heard there's a lot of activity here at York Tire, and we're going to try to prove if all those uh, rumors are true or not. Yeah, we've had lots of rumors that uh, this happens to be one of the most scariest places in Amarillo. Um, so uh, you've walked around, you did a, yeah, a quick walkthrough. Have you guys picked up anything different? <laughs> Matter of fact, yes. We were down in the basement just a little bit ago, and uh, I heard voices coming from one corner of it. And another one of my investigators actually seen an apparition walk by the stairs down there from the basement. Well, we have not hit the basement yet, but uh, we're going to walk around and uh, we look forward to uh, the 25th of October where yes, we'll be sir. staying the night. It'll be a lock-in over here at uh, York Tire. And I've noticed there's also a couple rooms downstairs that uh, we might actually just lock you in the room itself. <laughs> basement of York Tire. A lot of uh, activities here. Very warm. Have you noticed that the temperature is, uh, is, is went up? It's very warm down here. Alright, uh, here we are on the uh, main level. We are with Ray. He's one of the employees here. How long have you worked here for? Nine years. Now. Nine years. Um, rumor says that uh, York Tire is haunted. Um, a lot of people say probably one of the scariest buildings in Amarillo, Texas. Have you witnessed anything here? Yes. I actually haven't seen anything per se, but I had doors closed on me up on the crow's nest two times by itself. No wind pushing it, what have you. Uh, the first time I thought it was a trick, you know, some of the guys playing a trick on me, because these are still doors, these are super heavy doors, so you move around. So it really didn't bother me much. The second time it happened, that's when my hair standed up, and it was kind of a freaky situation. It was no joke at that no point. No joke. I had to ask to please open the door, then it opened the door. And who opened it up? Nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Wow. See, it locked up. See, I was trying to pry it to be open, to get it open, and it wouldn't let me do it. 
So. so like coming to work every day knowing that there there possibly could be spirits here. I mean, do you just block it out of your mind? And yeah, I don't bother me because they're not evil. I don't sit evil as far as that goes. They just like to play. So, you know, that's what it is. I have a little fun at work then, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess that's what you would call it. <laughs> it kind of spooks me out, you know, at times, but that's what it is. You know, so, get used to it. Well, what, what are your thoughts of us doing the uh, whole haunted broadcast where we will stay the whole night here in this building? I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but uh, you guys are into that kind of stuff, and that's cool. You know, nothing wrong with that. Second floor, they, they, we had other paranormal investigators come in, and uh, they had something happen in the second floor. So that's where you're going to get your best chance of looking for something. Because, in fact, one of our guys, one of our tire techs, saw a gentleman up there. And, uh, Just recently, yeah? Recently, about maybe a month ago or so. I mean, a month and a half or so, but other than that. Now we took a tour of all the uh, different floors and by far the basement. Very, very creepy. The temperature, the temperature yeah, was yeah. Uh, very warm down there. Yeah. And uh, it, it's just, you know, the, the hair on the arm was just totally standing up. Yeah, so uh, yeah. It doesn't bother me because that's where basically I work out. So it doesn't really bother me at all. I don't know why. It's, I don't feel that. Right. I don't feel that. Only in the, in the gross nest or in the second floor. That's when I really feel it. Awesome. So it's kind of creepy at times, but then I just push it away, don't think about it, and just continue to do what I do. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Ray. Appreciate you guys.